I will be home late for dinner. Just keep my food warm for me. Baby, I was hoping that you would take me out to dinner. We hardly spend any quality time together anymore. I don't feel like hearing your nagging this morning. Just keep my food warm for me. Also, make sure you clean up this house. Yesterday, I came home to dirty dishes. That is unacceptable. There was only a plate and a cup in the sink. There shouldn't be any dishes in the sink since you sit on your ass and spend my damn money. Robert, that's not true. I take care of you and this household. Being a stay-at-home wife is a 24-7 job. It isn't as easy as you think. I don't want to talk about this. Just clean and cook for me. Now I have to go. I will see you later. In our last session we discussed your marital issues. Have things gotten any better between the two of you? No, Dr. Hatchett. Things are getting worse. This morning we had a little argument. What was the argument about? He got upset because I left a plate and a cup in the sink. He also said that I don't do anything and that I spend his money. Your husband shows the classic signs of being a narcissist. He was gaslighting you this morning. I am going to teach you some techniques that will help you to combat your dilemma. I pray that this works because I'm at my wit's end. I am working hard to keep my marriage together. It seems like nothing that I do is ever good enough. Mrs. Butler, you are not the problem. Your husband is the one that is problematic. You need to stand up for yourself. Also, you need to set boundaries on what you will and will not accept in your marriage. You are right. I will no longer allow my husband to treat me like a doormat. I am ready for you to show me the techniques. All right then, let's get started. I love these shoes. I am going to buy them because I know it will go perfectly with my new outfit. What are you going to buy? Nothing. Why not? They have a lot of beautiful clothes and shoes in here. Plus, we came at the right time because they have a great sale going on. Robert hasn't given me any money. He has all of the bank cards and everything is in his name. Are you serious? You are his wife. Whatever belongs to him belongs to you too. This is ridiculous. You need to go to the bank and tell them that Robert is your husband and that you want to be added to all of his accounts. If I do that then Robert and I will have a huge argument. So what? As his wife, you are entitled to everything. He is controlling you with his money and it's not right. Fight for what's yours instead of keeping your mouth closed. You are right. I will talk to him about it tonight. You told me that you had to tell me something about your mother-in-law. What was it? My mother-in-law told my husband that he needs to divorce me and marry his ex-girlfriend because I am not taking care of our kids properly. Can you believe that mess? She is a liar. You are an excellent mother. You would lay down your life for your children. She is trying to put a wedge in between you and your husband. What did your husband do? He took his mother's side. He never stands up for me. He believes that everything that his mother says is true even though half of the time she doesn't even know what the hell she is talking about. Sometimes I feel like filing for a divorce because this situation is so damn stressful. However, I truly love my husband. I know you do. I pray that things get better between you and Patrick. So do I. Now I want you to pick out something in here and I will pay for it. Nina, you don't have to do that. I don't have to, but I want to. You are such a good friend. I know that you would do the same for me. Now, let's get back to shopping. Hey Mateo, long time no see my man. Usually I deal with your associate. How have you been? I've been good, what about you? I'm good, I need more of the product. It's been selling really fast. How much do you need? I want 14,000 keys. Okay, it's done. I want your crew to meet my associates at 602 West Charlotte Street at 12 AM shop. My associates will hand over the keys. The price for all the keys is $38,000. I will send the money by my top lieutenant G-Dog. Okay, that will work. Now I must go. Goodbye Mr. Butler. Goodbye Mr. Torres. G-Dog, I need you and crew one to meet Mr. Torres Associates at 12 AM on 602 West Charlotte Street. Remember the suitcase that I gave to you earlier today? Yeah, well I want you to give it to Mr. Torres Associates, make sure you drive the van because you will receive 14,000 keys. Damn man, that's way more than usual. You got that right, now I don't want any fuck ups. Make sure everyone is strapped down. I want everything to go smoothly so that we all can make more money. My word is bond, we will be ready and if shit goes down we'll handle it. I know, that is why you are my right hand man. You always get shit done when I need you. 
No doubt. It is done. Robert, I'm glad that you are home. We need to talk. Is dinner ready? Not yet. It is almost done. I thought I told you to have my food ready for me. Just what in the hell have you been doing all day? Oh let me guess, shopping and having lunch with Nina. Am I right? Yes, I saw Nina today. I can see whoever I want. I am a grown woman. I am tired of you treating me like a doormat. I will not allow you to control me anymore. You're crazy. I don't do any of those things to you. I tell you what to do for your own good since you don't know any better. Are you kidding me right now? You control everything including the money. Well that stops starting tonight. I own everything that you have and I want it. You will get only what I allow you to get. Now get my food. I am hungry woman. We'll see about that. Now get your own damn food because right now I don't even want to be around you. You always want everything your way. You are so fucking selfish. Don't talk back to me. You are to obey me at all times. Don't you ever speak to me like that again. Now get my damn food. 